Hey, what's up my chemistry people? Let's practice using significant figures in some simple calculations. Follow the same rules that I would in any ordinary math class. Now, significant figures really solve the problem for us of where do we round? We have to ask ourselves, what's the operation? In this case, it's division, which means that our final answer will be rounded to match the measurement with the fewest total significant figures. In this measurement, I have one, two, three sig figs. They're all significant there. In this measurement, I have two sig figs. So my final answer should have just two sig figs. So as I look at my calculator, I'm gonna round this to 21 meters per second because I'm dividing. Now, in this example, it's the same rule as division. You look at your measurements, your final answer is gonna match the measurement with the fewest total significant figures. So to look at my first measurement, only these two are significant. So this one has two sig figs. In my second measurement, only these two are significant, also two sig figs. So my final answer should have just two significant figures. I jump over to my calculator. 0 0.005, 0 times, 0 0.042. Now, as you'll notice, my calculator gives me the answer in scientific notation, 2.1 times 10 to the negative 4. But recognize this is two significant digits. If I were to write this number in standard notation, 0 0.00021 meters cubed, whoops, notice that I have just two significant digits. All right, next problem. Okay, we've changed operations in this problem. Now notice that we are going to be doing some addition here. And so we are going to use the measurement that is least precise. And in most cases, what that means is which measurement has the fewest digits to the right of the decimal. As I look at this, they are all precise to the thousands place. Therefore, they all have the same level of precision. So when I add all these together, 0 0.042 plus 1.229 plus 0 0.502 meter, we get 1.773 kilograms. Again, notice my final answer is precise to so the thousands place. Okay, in this example, we've got some addition and subtraction, but the rule is the same. Our final answer has to match the measurement that is least precise. As I look at this, my first measurement is only precise to the tens place. And I know it's only to the tens place because there's no decimal here. My second measurement precise to the tenths place and the third measurement is precise, so the ones place. So the least precise of those is this measurement here. It is only precise to the tens place. Notice that this number is not as precise as 170 decimal point or 170.0. This would be far more precise. It would be precise to the tenths place. So it's not 170 plus 3.5 minus now our calculator gives us 145.5. It needs to be rounded to match the precision of the least precise measurement, which was this one. So how do I round this number to the tens place? If you guessed 150 square centimeters, you would be correct. Notice the precision matches the least precise measurement. Now that one's kind of tricky. Again, we'll be practicing sig figs all year long.